So I ran the Coleman mini bike with a 179cc snowblower engine with a JB Weld head gasket and it ran fantastic. So now I'm wondering, maybe head gaskets are overrated. Maybe I should just run it without a head gasket at all. So I think I'm gonna pull the head off if I can get the JB Weld head gasket off there. And then I think I'm gonna run the bike without a head gasket. I mean, who needs a head gasket? I think that's just more parts to go wrong. More stuff to break, more stuff to have to replace. So I'm gonna pull this head off of here, clean up the surface, put it all back together without a head gasket, and we'll see what happens. So the less parts you have, the less chance of things going wrong. Let's throw off of here. Pull this carb off of here. Unbolt this head and and his JB Weld's gonna let loose and his head's gonna come right off. Alright, this head should pop right off of here. Oh man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I use a little pry bar on it and pry it off really easy without breaking the fins. Maybe. Oh yeah, that worked. Look at that. That thing's coming right off. Well, that's gonna be easier than I thought. Let's see if I can. All right, on. That's not even that hard. Not much of it stuck, actually. There's a little bit on there. So anyway, I'll clean this off and I'll throw it back on without a head gasket, and let's see what happens. Scrape some of the TV weld off here. Looks like it comes right off. I got the head all cleaned off, which was a lot easier than I thought, and then the mounting surface. So now I will throw it on there without a head gasket. Less parts to break. If you don't have a head gasket, you can't blow a head gasket. All right, there we go. Torque that baby down on there. Put a little oil on these bolts, just to get a decent torque reading on them. Throw a torque on here. Let's we'll see if we can get any compression here without the uh, valve lash set. Oh, it actually has compression. Cool. All right, let me throw this back together. So let me set that valve lash, get this thing to top dead center. Okay, so we got the valve lash set. Put this valve cover on there. Header pipe. So the carb on here. Gasket. Throw the air filter on here, and I think we about got it. Fire this thing up. Let's see if it'll fire up without a head gasket. I mean, who needs head gaskets anyway? Whoa, almost the first pull. That thing fired up quick with no head gasket. Actually sounds pretty good too. Okay, so I got the no head gasket on there and it fired up like the what, second or third pull? So that thing's probably gonna be a rocket ship. So let's take it out and see what it does. And one thing for sure, or one thing I know for a fact, is we can't blow a head gasket.
it seems like it runs pretty good, man. It's got power. You can feel the torque of this thing. You figure it's got 10 thousandths less of a head gasket on there. So that's got to be more compression. run just as good with no head gasket maybe better with the extra compression let me run this thing down the road here and do a top speed run and we'll see what it does be faster than before. It feels pretty snappy. Let's take it a different route this time. Might as well cruise the hood while we're out. Man, this thing runs really good. Probably the best it's ran. really well with no head gasket it seems like it's a little bit more snappy though so i came back to grab the draggy and i'll take it back out to do the zero to 30 real quick i think last time around with the nibby after i added the 18 pound valve springs it did 7.36 zero to 30. so i'll see if it'll beat the zero to 30 times 
with a stock carb in the 18 pound springs because right now it has a stock carb on it and then with no head gasket. All right, let's go see what it does for zero to 30. So it seems a little snappier, but we'll see. It's really kind of hard to tell. Okay, zero to 30, no head gasket. Eight point zero two. I had to choke on a little bit too, so that might have been it. Let me try that again. Zero to thirty, no head gasket. Seemed better that time. A 7.48. Okay, so it's very similar to what it was before. So the bike runs similar to what it did with the JB Weld head gasket. So I think last time around with a Nibby Carb, it did a 7.36 with a head gasket. This time around without a head gasket and a stock carb, it did 7.48. So it's really similar. And then 49.07. But then losing the couple miles an hour top speed could be just the stock carb versus the Nibby. Cause last time around it did 51 or 52 with the JB Weld head gasket, but it had a Nibby carb. So I don't think it's really losing anything without a head gasket. I mean, who needs a head gasket anyway? They're overrated. I mean, just more parts to go wrong, more money to spend. 